have all these fun different materials to paint with today. Why don't you just dip your feather in there and see what happens? Okay. When it comes to art, it has the ability of drawing out something unexpected. Were you trying out the tissue paper? Do you need a little more paint on here? No need for paint brushes. How's it going over here? Are you using the eyeshadow brush? Instead, what's it like painting with an eyeshadow brush? A freedom to create. Yeah, it's totally free. And connect. No, I want to get that. No, I want to get that. It's a sort of free form art. Tom Don Ellen is one of more than 15 working on this process painting. What happens if you mix this white with this blue? What do I like about painting? each one putting their own stamp on the project. <laughs> layer. Oh, I like that. You like that? By layer. Look at that texture you're creating. Do you see that? Kayla Kritzek is an art therapy intern at the Augustana Open Circle Adult Day Center in Hopkins. I've got a white here that I can I give you. A collaboration between Open Circle Thank you. Found one. and the Adler Graduate School. It's been amazing, actually. Um, like seeing people who've never been in art programming before come in and want to be in it and get excited about it. How's that? I love it. Has been really rewarding. You pick up more paint when you use the sponge brush. It's true. Mm -hmm. Learning what it means to have an artist's touch. Should I use a sponge brush? Whichever one. I think both give a cool effect on the canvas. They're just different. And new talent later in life. Doodler. <laughs> Added color. You gotta stamp it harder on there. Amid faded memories. Approximately 80% of our members here at the Hopkins location have a dementia diagnosis. We have art. Pom-poms. Gives them a voice. Cotton balls. You can do anything with you can smear you can dab for some of our members with the dementia for instance um, finding that voice in a more of a typical fashion can be challenging uh, it can be frustrating for them to uh, talk about their thoughts their feelings their their life experiences they can't always find the words what do you think of those colors together when words fail art speaks it relieves tension and gives you a sense of achievement just something Achievement. <laughs> we have fun, don't we? Mm -hmm. We have we a do. lot of fun. We do have a lot of fun. They've spent three sessions adding to this canvas. And this says, here it is. And after a fourth, rotate the painting. It'll hang on the wall at ICA Food Shelf. It's just gonna fit. Mar members tend to have a sense of isolation. All too. over this side? Yeah. When they're diagnosed with dementia, they're living in the community, and slowly they're losing all of the things that connect them to the life that they recognized. This type of purposeful programming, like the art programming that we're doing with Kayla, brings back that purpose and meaning. Um, it also, I think, challenges them. We've certainly got a lot of layers at this point. Seeing what's still possible. For some reason, it reminds me of something underwater. Does it? Yeah, like maybe a coral reef. A jellyfish and different colors in the ocean. Art that adds depth. I've come here, there was nothing there. And now this is there for what I've done. So there's a sense, yes, I've done something. Yeah, that <laughs> looks awesome. Well, it was twisted, but yeah. They have one more session and then they'll give the art piece to ICA Food Shelf in Minnetonka. Open Circle members are also helping out the community in other ways, including making hygiene kits for homeless teens and blankets for veterans experiencing homelessness. That's pretty cool. So yeah. my stepdad has dementia and he lives at a long-term care facility. And we're always trying to figure out things that he would like to do. He doesn't like to play the word games anymore. Yeah. So maybe I'll try to see if I can get him to paint. Oh, that would be amazing. Yeah. Love it. it didn't, everybody seemed like they had, they said they were having yeah. a good time, it was but incredible have they ever that. painted before? A lot of them had it. That's and so it cool. it was amazing watching just the painting transform just within the hour that I was there. All right. Thank you so much, Heidi.